Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissight, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And, you know, we always like to give you information as it relates to our communities. Uh, and certainly when we have certain things happen, we like to go to the source to find out more information uh, like we did for this fire that took place over in Pierre Partis. Welcome in, Chief Don Bro. Chief Bro, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yes, sir. We appreciate it. Now, uh, this building that caught on fire, it is right near Duffy's. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what happened. It seems like you were the first one to get out there. Uh, we're so very glad to have you and your team available. Tell us a little bit about how this started. Yeah, we got a call about uh, 9.39 yesterday morning, and uh, we had a shark fire next to Duffy's. And I live two streets over, so when I, I walked over there, uh, drove over there, uh, there was some heavy smoke coming out of the building and fire on the back rear of it. So I automatically called for mutual aid because of the heat and uh, the situation that we were going to have to deal with. So we, we requested Pankerville, Bell River, and Stephenville, which they all responded to it. And they did an awesome job. They worked very well together. and. So, uh, we were able to control the fire probably in 15, 20 minutes, the majority, but then we spent the next hour or so uh, finishing it off, getting the hot spots and getting everything else completed out there. Well, you know, we got some of these shots that really show, boy, this fire really took, took – um advantage of this building pretty quickly. That's what can happen in this kind of heat with this kind of humidity, right? Yes, it's very tough on this. With this heat right now, uh, with the bunker gear, everything you've got on, you got – two or three layers of clothing on it, and then you put the air packs on, and then plus you got the heat from the fire. So it, it's pretty hot out there. Uh, we're fortunate to have medics in our department that uh, as the firefighters came out, they went in and uh, made sure they went to rehab and uh, hydrated well so that they could go back in. Yeah, uh, you guys, I, I love the fact that you work so well with all of your neighboring fire departments. It, it seems like uh, just being able to call them, they came out so very quickly. And for you guys to be able to put this fire out as quickly as you did, it's nice to have those backups because if that fire doesn't go out that quickly, y'all can basically only do about 20 minutes on at a time. Is that right? And that's correct. And especially being volunteer fire departments, the, you struggle during the daytime with manpower. We were very fortunate. We had some of our guys left their jobs and came help. But these other departments made it happen uh, with everybody working together. We had uh, 25 firefighters on scene and five fire engines, so it worked out very well. Yeah, I got to tell you that having a presence like that in your community, uh, especially in Pierre Park, people have got to feel a whole lot more comfortable just knowing uh, that even though it's a, fire, a volunteer fire department, there are a lot of options for people to get there quickly and be able to help in a situation like this. Yeah, and we have, we've got a great community. They, they back us 100, 150%. They, they really support us wholeheartedly, and that helps out a lot. Uh, we even had guys out there during the fire was helping us pull holes and taking out equipment, whatever we asked them to do, they did out there, even if they weren't in the department. But they do support us tremendously. Yeah, it's so very nice that you've got some people that y'all can kind of give some direction to, uh, like extra hoses, as you mentioned. You know, with having those five trucks out there, there's a lot of hoses coming and going. Uh, but you yeah. guys uh, certainly had a lot of help making sure that that was uh, working seamlessly. That's correct. And uh, Sheriff's Office out there, as usual, we have a good working relationship with our uh, Sheriff Leland Falcon. And also Katie and Amos was there, so we had a good team. Uh, we did call the state fire marshal to investigate to help us find out what the cause of the fire was, and it's still under investigation at this time. Yeah, and I know we'll, we'll get that information as we can, but as, as Jason rose through some of these pictures, I got to tell you, for the damage that it seems like this building took on, uh, you guys did a fantastic job getting it done and getting it put out very quickly. Yeah, that is correct. There is an extensive amount of damage. The, the building is pretty much gutted inside. There is some stuff that you can salvage. Uh, 
that we did already take out for him and he took some stuff out, but the majority of it is destroyed. I think the building can be rebuilt. Uh, I'm not sure if they will or not, but I know it, uh, the structure is structurally sound. Yeah, well, we, uh, again, a, a great team effort and uh, in a place like Pierre Park, it's one of those places where, you know, everybody knows everybody there. And uh, you guys uh, did a great job in being able to respond quickly. And it's nice to know that the community is always looking out for each other. Somebody saw smoke and they let y'all know, huh? That's correct. A uh, guy down the street uh, actually smelled it in his house and he looked outside and he saw the big column of smoke coming out of the building. Wow. And so one of the ways that we know the community uh, kind of relies on you guys, let's talk a little bit about how they can help you kind of make sure that these things always uh, happen. We have this pledge drive that you guys have for the Pierre Port Fire De Volunteer Fire Department that people can actually go in and pledge money for the fire department, correct? That is correct. We send a letter out annually to each residence and or camp owner. And uh, we ask them for donation, and this donation helps us buy equipment, keep maintain our truck stations, uh, of course, pay insurance, light bills, and everything else. The costs that we have, uh, they do respond tremendously. We, we, like I said, our community, we can't act any better. We also uh, have a food festival every October, and this year is October 20th. It's a one-day event, and it's got bands, auctions. Uh, the whole nine yards. We got a tremendous amount of food that we got out there. We got about forty cooks that we do, and it, you can just about eat just about anything you can imagine, Cajun style. But uh, that is coming up in October, and it's a it's a real good, beautiful one day event. Well, well, Chief, we're we're hoping that a lot of people pledge uh, to the Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, let us know when that's coming up. Maybe in September, uh, we can have you back on. We can talk a little bit more about your event. Want as many people to come out and support y'all as they can. That's correct. I appreciate that. We can need all the time we can get. Yes, sir. We'll be glad to do that. Thank you so much. And for you and your team and how well y'all were able to handle this fire. We appreciate it. Thank you all, sir. Appreciate the compliment. Yes, sir. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment. But don't go anywhere. A whole lot more right here on Bayou Time. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. Oh, I can destroy When victory alone isn't enough, you chase something greater. No matter how difficult the path, on the dirt, in the sand, and beyond. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot. Part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda 